fall is in the air and today we are embracing the flavors of the season with three sparkling apple cider cocktails. Hey Thirsty Fam, welcome back and if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. These cocktails that we're making today are perfect for the holiday season. We're going to be making an apple cider mimosa, a sparkling apple cider margarita, and a sparkling apple cider sangria. Delicious. Let's make sure to get all of our tools ready. Today we're going to be using this Bar Deluxe Cocktail Shaker Kit, which has everything we need for today's recipes and more. If you're in need of a new set, you can find this kit on Amazon. Use the link in our description. All right now, let's make an apple cider mimosa. I love the simplicity of this cocktail. It's only two ingredients, apple cider and Prosecco. That's it. But if you wanna be extra like us, Pick up some cinnamon and brown sugar for the rim, as well as some apples and cinnamon sticks for garnish. Now let's make it. In a champagne flute, pour one part apple cider, top it off with two parts of Prosecco, and give it a gentle stir. We're using some honey crisp apples today. These are so delicious. The cinnamon stick will give it an extra bit of flavor, and the fact that they smell amazing is definitely a plus. Delicious. Now let's make a sparkling apple cider margarita. You're gonna need some fresh lemon juice, some sparkling apple cider, some Grand Marnier, and tequila. Really any fall cocktail you should be using a Reposado tequila. It brings rich flavors like vanilla, caramel, honey, and if you need a bottle of tequila, be sure to check out Bottle Rover. You can get beer, wine, and liquor delivered to your door from BottleRover.com or download their app. Now here's how to make it. First, rim your glass with some caramel and dip it into some cinnamon brown sugar. In our shaker, we're muddling some honey crisp apple chunks. Then we're gonna go in with a half ounce of fresh lemon juice, a half ounce of some Grand Marnier, and an ounce and a half of tequila. We're gonna give that a good shake and top it with some sparkling cider. Garnish with a rosemary sprig and a star anise. I'm loving the drippy deliciousness of this rim. I mean, hello, caramel apple. They're made to be together. Now for the apple cider sangria, you can either serve this by the glass or in a pitcher, depending on how many people you got hanging around. You're going to need some lemon juice, simple syrup, apple cider, sparkling wine, and a cinnamon whiskey. Any cinnamon whiskey will do. I'm gonna show you how to make this one by the glass, but if you're making it in a pitcher, just combine all of the ingredients in there and give it a good stir. Pitchers are great for the holidays. You can just whip up a batch and allow your guests to serve themselves. Tip of the day, if you're having a gathering, make a pitcher, make your life easy. In a shaker, add a half ounce of lemon juice, a half ounce of simple syrup, one ounce of apple cider, and one ounce of cinnamon whiskey. Give that a good shake, strain it into your serving glass, and top it with some sparkling wine. Garnish with pomegranate seeds, a cinnamon stick, apple slices, and a rosemary sprig. This might be my new obsession. Now let us know in the comments which one was your favorite. Stay thirsty.